imagine someone slap you in the face with some papers, some paperwork. What? And that someone is Brock Lesnar. What you gonna do? What's good, Josh? Boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out funniest Brock Lesnar WWE moments. Yeah, you already know. Uh, <laughs> Dub is not gonna watch this video. It's not gonna check this out. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> so we're gonna check. I'm gonna check it out on my personal page. Oh man, I I I can only imagine how Dub would feel. Me watching this, he would probably feel betrayed. But we're gonna check this out. Appreciate all the love and support. <laughs> let's get right into this one. I, I Brock has some funny moments, so let's check this out. <laughs> Lesnar is dancing. Oh the yeah. WWE <laughs> champion. Just seeing Brock Lesnar dance in any capacity is, is actually quite chilling, especially before a fight. That concerns me in a way of like, yeah, you're about to get your ass kicked in a horrible way. He's dancing. Brock Lesnar is legitimately one of the toughest guys in WWE history. While the Beast Incarnate is usually pretty serious, Lesnar does have a humorous side to him. Especially We've seen later. Brock create some pretty funny moments, and we're gonna rank them, starting with... In 2013, CM Punk challenged Brock Lesnar to a match at SummerSlam. Lesnar accepted, but decided he couldn't wait and attacked Punk in the middle of a match. Brock, Paul Heyman, as well as Heyman's other client, Curtis Axel, went backstage and were asked to explain their actions. Surprisingly, Brock Lesnar was the first one to speak. The Beast said some pretty typical stuff, but then he ended <laughs> with this. Paul, say something stupid. <laughs> Brock didn't need to say that at all, but the fact that he took the time to take a shot at his own agent is pretty funny. Also, <laughs> that I don't know why, moment. but Brock not blinking or breaking eye contact with the camera for 20 seconds makes it even more humorous. Paul Heyman and Lesnar were in the ring, doing what they do best, uh, hyping up Brock's upcoming pay-per-view match. They didn't get a- I, uh, this, is, this is a legendary moment. I don't give a I don't give a crap about your kids. He cursed live on television, a PG product. It's Brock Lesnar. What the, what are they gonna do? <laughs> Say much because he Slater apparently oh, had a so death wish and interrupted them. Heyman tried to brush off the one man band, but Slater stood his ground. Heath was in need of a WWE contract and wanted to have a one on one match with Brock Lesnar to earn one. Slater started explaining they had kids to feed, and at first, it seemed like the Beast Incarnate was going to have a heart to heart. Nope. But this was Brock Lesnar we're talking about. I don't give a oh, about, about your kids. kids. That shit was great. Yes, I'm going to hell for laughing at a man trying to provide for his family. <laughs> he beat the but at least brakes out happy. of him, bro. <laughs> After winning the 2015 Royal Rumble, Roman Reigns was prepared to take on Brock Lesnar for the first time. The setting couldn't have been bigger as they not only competed at WrestleMania, but easily they were also one of wrestling their best in the matches, main event. Man. One of their as best soon as matches. the match started, Brock Lesnar easily dominated Reigns. The Beast was hitting all of his signature moves, including German suplexes. This led to Lesnar saying his now iconic Money, line. Yep. Suplex City, bitch. Suplex City. It's always amusing hearing a swear word get dropped in the PG era, especially back in 2015, when the company was more careful about these things. What also makes this funny is the fact that Brock took the time to diss his opponent. Like an RKO, mm -hmm. the line came from out of nowhere, but it will definitely be staying around. And it got over. As soon as he said that, it, it just, they turned that into some merchandise and it just went crazy, bro. For years to come. In 2019, Lesnar shocked everyone money by entering the, the Money in the Bank ladder oh, match man. and winning the briefcase. A few weeks after the surprise win, Seth Rollins tried to get Brock Lesnar to cash in his Money in the Bank contract right then and there, and Lesnar looked ready to do it. Before the Beast could make a decision, Paul Heyman read the actual Money in the Bank contract, which states that it's good for one year. Apparently, this was news to Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Imagine someone slap you in the face with some papers, some paperwork. What? And that someone is Brock Lesnar. What you gonna do? Let me know down below what y'all doing. Y'all just gonna take that, 
that abuse, and you going you gonna to run the fade with him. <laughs> run the fade with Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Brock grabbing the papers and slapping Heyman with the contract was so unexpected. What made it really funny though was Heyman's reaction to the whole thing. But <laughs> Heyman does bring up a good point. How did Brock Lesnar not know how the Money in the Bank contract Yeah, how did you not know? Either way, it's still a great moment. Lesnar was pushed to the moon after defeating The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Crazy something moment. Something people thought would never happen or shouldn't have happened. Yeah. There were a lot of emotions, so when The Beast and The Dead Man had a rematch at the 2015 SummerSlam, it was pretty tense. After the bell rang, the match was extremely brutal, yeah. with Lesnar even getting busted open. This shit was after fantastic. After Taker delivered a tombstone pile driver, both men lay lifeless on the mat. One of the most infamous moments in SummerSlam history. This was, oh, this was so great. The sit-up moment when they both started laughing at each other. Fantastic. Brock was the first to get up, and the Beast was actually laughing. Undertaker rose next, and he too was chuckling. <laughs> they quickly got back to fighting, but it was just such a random and that hilarious was moment great. in an otherwise serious match. Well, besides Lesnar giving Undertaker the finger mm -hmm. while he's being choked out. That was pretty funny, too. After winning his second WWE Championship in 2003, Brock Lesnar's first challenger was John Cena. Oh, the two John. went head-to-head -head at Backlash, with Lesnar reigning supreme. While Brock's hand would be raised, his belt would fall. Literally. On the following episode of SmackDown, Lesnar is making his entrance like normal, and the WWE Championship fell from his waist. What made it even more funny was, at the time, Brock was still the dominant NCAA monster champion, so seeing something like this gave everyone a little laugh. Yeah. Funny enough, WWE has since edited this out of the episode and shows a different shot of Brock. While WWE may want us to forget, wow. something this funny will always be remembered. Man, you could have kept that in, man. That's funny stuff like that happened all the time. Brock Lesnar was just on a comedy hot streak in 2019. The night after Money in the Bank, Lesnar celebrated his victory in his own unique way. While exiting the ring, the Beast put the briefcase on his shoulder and pretended mm -hmm. it was a boombox. Mm -hmm. That was kind of funny, but the next week, Brock Lesnar took it a step further. Oh yeah, he came out there with the boombox. Brock turned his Money in the Bank briefcase into a, into a boom, boom box. box and started dancing. Dog. What's amazing is that he's actually- <laughs> This was a real thing. I just watched it. I was like, oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, my God. Somebody's losing the championship. Oh, boy. This is going to be great. Actually, not a half bad dancer. It was hilarious, especially since WWE had positioned Lesnar as one of the strongest wrestlers on the roster, yeah. but they allowed him to go out there and be a complete goofball. While it was really fun, the <laughs> beef thoughts would be retired at Extreme Rules when Brock cashed in on Seth Rollins. After Brock Lesnar defeated Kurt Angle at WrestleMania 19 for the WWE Great Championship, match. the Olympic gold medalist formed something of a competitive friendship with Brock Lesnar. The two were backstage when a young woman walked by. Hey, Tim. Hey, how you doing? She was talking to me. She was talking to me. No, she wasn't. Yeah, she was. she was. The two argued over who the lady was talking to and referenced their accomplishments for proof. After their argument ended, Angle approached the woman, only for Brock to slap Kurt on the back, causing milk to spill all over the lady. <laughs> the two appeared again and decided to see who was better by competing in a push-up contest. Right before Brock started, Lesnar made a joke that was so funny it caused Angle to break character. So this is what it's like at your level. <laughs> Get down and do your damn push-ups. Right, this whole backstage segment was fun to watch. Kurt and Brock played off each other really well, and this helped show how versatile Lesnar was. It's yeah, no the thing about Brock is, especially if you guys haven't seen the former version of Brock, he is, this is probably the most fun it looks like we've seen on him on camera. Like, is he's one of those guys you just, he has to like want to do it. He has to be comfortable in what he's doing for it for it to come off organic or whatnot. Because... I've seen an interview with him on uh, what podcast, Pat McAfee show. He was pretty much talking about, you know, he's he's not really like a big sociable person, you know, so crowds do kind of make him feel uneasy and stuff like that. But it's crazy seeing in that interview how funny he was. He was just funny as hell. And now seeing it on TV and on, and on his recent run, he's just, he's, 
you would think you would want you would want to see more of that, or you would you would think you didn't know Brock had that type of humorous side. So it's cool to see those shades of Brock come out every now and then, and especially as of late, it's made his character quite refreshing. I know Dub will probably <laughs> lose his mind if you ever heard such things come out of my mouth. Pause. No surprise that Brock Lesnar doesn't talk much, and there's a reason for that. Since coming back to WWE in 2012, Brock occasionally goes from sounding like the Beast to an intense kitten. Yeah. I will see you on Sunday! <laughs> what was it's that? hilarious for pretty obvious reasons. Oh my the Beast God. Brock Lesnar is beating someone senseless, and then he goes. <laughs> it's not just what he's fighting either. Rock Lesnar's voice cracks even happen when he's on the mic. Let's do this! This! These moments are just plain hilarious. And what makes it even better is the fun fans have had with Brock's voice hiccups. <laughs> In the lead up to his match at No Way Out against Eddie Guerrero, Eddie, yeah. Brock Lesnar decided to get under his opponent's skin in the most hilarious way possible. Lesnar brought out a mariachi band and walked to the ring wearing a sombrero. <laughs> the sight of seeing the beast, Brock Lesnar, dancing with a big sombrero on his head is unbelievable. What makes it even better is Lesnar's huge, cheesy smile across his face. He even cuts his promo while wearing the hat. How can you not chuckle at seeing this? Brock did this moment perfectly. <laughs> it looks like he's having the time of his life as he dances to the music and conducts the band. Eddie Guerrero eventually ran out and the moment turned more serious. But this is the funniest thing Brock Lesnar has ever done. To keep the last going, watch the top 10 most embarrassing WWE. Brock, man, when when he wants to do something and he feels like it's, you know, it's, it's something that he can do comfortably, you can tell he's gonna have a good time. I, I enjoy Farmer Brock. Uh, Farmer Brock is quite hilarious. There are reports that he's supposed to come back, I believe, for WrestleMania season. There are reports saying he may face Bobby Lashley again. Hopefully they do Bobby Lashley justice. Don't know if I wanna see that match again, but it'll be interesting to see what happens if he does get involved. Just keep him away from the damn title scene, please. That's all I ask. No more. Please, no more title shots for a very long time. Actually, no more. He's good. No more. So, but comment down below. Let me know. What's your favorite Brock Lesnar funny moment? You can go even recent from Farmer Brock. Let me know down below. And I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 100K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace. Sorry, Dub. I had to check this out.